Oh, hey, Charles Xavier Anthony Walters III here. Hey, nice shirt, shirt. And all my life, I've been labeled Not. different. People just don't get me sometimes. Like, they might even say I'm a fish out of water. <laughs> but seriously, there's one place where I can go that I feel like I'm the big kahuna, a king, a rock star. Do you have an aquatic line or... And that place is the Oklahoma Aquarium. Well, hello there, my aquatic loving friends. Uh -huh. Charles Xavier Anthony Walters III here. And today, I'm going to take you on an expedition unlike any other. We're going to go on an adventure to the extreme Amazon exhibit. Let's go. The Amazon River is a beautiful and mysterious world with so much to uncover. Did you know that the Amazon is the largest river in the world by volume and the second longest river in the world? Yeah, it starts in the Andes Mountains in Peru and goes from Ecuador to Colombia, Venezuela, Bolivia, and Brazil. And all it touches nine different countries. This tunnel is much smaller than I thought it was. Oh boy. And as the second longest river in the world at over 4,000 miles, that's like the distance between New York and Rome. <laughs> The Amazon River and rainforest are home to about 30% of the Earth's plant and animal species, Whoa. making it one of the most biodiverse habitats on our planet. The river holds more fish species than the Atlantic Ocean, over 2,000 to be exact. A few of them I'm gonna be introducing you to today. Check out these guys. This is a Paku fish. Now they're known for having short, blunt teeth, much like human teeth, which is super weird, but despite their teeth, they're mostly herbivores, or plant eaters. Uh -huh. And they're known to have quite the personality. There's even one famous Paku out in Seattle who even lets people pet it. Would you let me pet you, little booby? Who oh, can I pet you, little booby? Hmm? No. Did you? Let's move on. The Paku are sometimes mistaken for their very close relative, the Piranha. <laughs> but they have very distinct differences. Piranha are omnivorous, which means they eat plants and animals. Now, they're also known for their teeth, but for very different reasons. They have very sharp, razor-like teeth that they use to devour their prey. Uh -huh. Despite their glittery appearance, you do not want to mess with these guys. Wanna hear a joke? Where do Piranha keep their money? Uh -huh. In riverbanks. <laughs> That's a good one. We still don't know about all the marine life that lives beneath the waters of the Amazon River, but the Oklahoma Aquarium is a great place to learn about all the things that we do know about. So why don't you make plans to come and check it out for yourself? I'm gonna go talk to my new Paku friend. 